What's going on YouTube gang is Melo DFS coming to you live and direct here to give you my favorite plays for DraftKings I hope everybody's having a great one for Sunday June 28th Feel free to like the video please subscribe if you're new or supporting the channel I always appreciate the love press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos Let's get right into it y'all for Pokemon 350 all right, for today, going with our first pick. Got to go back to the well here with Kevin Harvick. That was my guy yesterday, and he got his first win um, yesterday. He's averaging 7.8 plays in the season, 58.1 um, fantasy points per race this year. Uh, he's starting in 20th today, which this is an easy upside, in my opinion. He's on the groove. He has the momentum. Eight top fives, 11 top tens for the event. So definitely like Kevin Harvick back at the well at 10,700. All right, now going to the second play. I'm going to go back to the well with Brad Keselowski, man. I just like this guy here. He's averaging 9.8 finishes this season. 24.1 uh, laps led, 12.9 la fastest laps for per race for the season with 73.2 quality passes. Uh, he has 8 top 5s, 11 top 10s with a 9.5 placing at Pocono as well. Um, so I'd love this play for him knowing that he's in a better uh, position for today. Today he has a 12th place in for today, so definitely want to target him back at the well at 9600. Going to our third spot, going to go to, going to go to Eric Amarola. All right, now it was a battle head to head with Harvick yesterday. He came in third as well. He's three top fives in a row so far for each race um, for the recent races. Um, he has he been in a perfect lineup three straight races. He started in 18th today, and he's averaging 13.4. Uh, placing in the past 16 races this season. So love this play for him. He has a great spot to look into. Uh, 7,200 still too cheap of what he can do here. So definitely want to target him in this play for today. All right, now look, going to our last spot. All right, last spot here. We'll go to Joy Logano. 36 spot. You know, he had a stage one win. Then he had that flat front tire with seven laps remaining, which was a bummer. Now he's starting at 36, which is a crazy upside here. Three top fives, seven top tens, averaging 17.5 and placing on this track. Averaging 34.4 laps led a race with 67 quality passes a race. Definitely got to get some Logano here as he's going to seek that revenge. All right, 9,400 is a great play for today. Of course, we got 65, 50 for remaining. Of course, you could look into Eric Jones. That would be necessary chalk here. He's starting in 38th position. He has four top fives, five top tens at Pocono uh, with a 15.8 finish for the season. And he's projected to get around 13th. Uh, placing for today. Then you got Tyler Reddick. These two guys, you know, they're going to be seeking revenge after the, that crash that got both of them out uh, yesterday. He started in 30th uh, with 16, well, he projected 16th position for today, averaging 11.1 pass differential a season, averaging 17.6 finishes for the season. So it's a great, crazy upside for Tyler Reddick as he's seeking that revenge for him yesterday, y'all. So these are my plays and also the notables with Eric Jones and Reddick to help your lines. Of course, you got McDowell. That's another great play, but he will be starting early, um, for, um, around 13th place, I think. So it's going to be tough trying to see if he's going to hold that position uh, due to the fact he usually starts around the 20th or 30th place. So those are my plays. Like the plays, definitely give a thumbs up. Questions, comment below. Please add me on Twitter, at Melorama. Also, if you're new, subscribe. Love y'all. Y'all collect that bag for today. It's Metal DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.